speech is now being remade by analyzing a talker's speech for the fundamental speech information and then using this information to remake the speech with a synthesizing device. The entire process being carried out automatically and almost instantaneously by electrical circuits. The apparatus used has been called a vocoder because it operates on the principle of coding the voice and then reconstructing the voice in accordance with this code. The process consists of a speech analysis followed by a speech synthesis, and these have separately been subjects of study by many workers in a wide variety of fields. For example, philologists, phoneticians, elocutionists, laryngologists, and communications engineers. This is the one-to-one -one setting of the ERP vocoder, and this time we will demonstrate a comparison between this setting and the public address connection. This will be done on test sentences, first given on the vocoder condition, and followed immediately by the public address condition. Sister Susie sells seashells down by the seashore. Sister Susie sells seashells down by the seashore. Joe took father's shoe bench out. She was waiting at my lawn. Joe took father's shoe bench out. She was waiting at my lawn. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their party. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their party. She shakes sheets down by the seashore. She shakes sheets down by the seashore. Now we have the setting where the reproduced pitch of the vocoder speech is exactly one octave. 
Now the vocoder is set to have a reduced inflection of the remade speech. The remade speech now has an inflection half that of the original speech. And in order to compare that with a one-to-one -one inflection, I will repeat a sentence both on the one-to-one -one and the one-half-to-one -one in exactly the same manner at the microphone. Hello there, who is that? One-to-one. -one. Hello there, who is that? One-half-to-one. -one. Hello there, who is that? One-to-one. -one. Hello there, who is that? One-half-to-one. -one. Now we have it set so that the inflection is increased in the vocoder speech. It is about double that at which the talker uses at the microphone. Let us uh, repeat the same sentence as before, both on the one-to-one -one condition and the two-to-one -one condition. Hello there, who is that? One-to-one. -one. Hello there, who is that? Two-to-one. Hello there, who is that? One-to-one. -one. Hello there, who is that? Two-to-one. Next, let us try a little bar of song on the one-half-to-one. Way down upon the Swanee River, far, far away, there's where my heart is yearning ever, there's where the old folks stay. Now we'll try that on the two to one. Way down upon the Swanee River, far, far away, there's where my heart is yearning ever, there's where the old folks stay. Now the vocoder is set to have an inflection at the synthesizing end, which is opposite to that at the analyzing end. That is, every time the pitch of the talker's voice goes up, the vocoder pitch goes down. This condition sounds very interesting if the talker sings a musical scale, starting at low do and going upwards one octave to a higher do. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. And thus we see that the inflection is backwards. A little song such as Yankee Doodle sounds very strange on this condition. Yankee Doodle went up down, Yankee Doodle dandy, stuck a feather in his cap and called him fine and dandy. This condition will show how the vocoder can be used for imitating various things, such as a steamboat whistle or a Jew's harp. shows how the vocoder can be used for changing the quality or timbre of the remade voice. In this case, the three lower channels, numbers 1, 2, and 3, are controlling the energy of channels 3, 4, and 5 at the output, thus taking the energy in the very low frequencies and moving it up somewhat in the frequency spectrum. This gives a rather white nasal type of voice. This time the quality has changed again, and uh, we have somewhat reversed the condition we had previously. The channels numbers 3, 4, and 5 are now controlling the energy in channels 1, 2, and 3 at the output, so that we take some energy that is in the region somewhere between uh, 200 to uh, 450 cycles and throw it down to the region 50 cycles to... Uh, about 250, and this gives an entirely different type of 
demonstrations that follow will show how the vocoder can uh, add a vibrato of uh, pitch nature to the synthesized speech. This will be done on a few lines of song, first adding a three-cycle vibrato, then a six-cycle vibrato, and finally a ten-cycle vibrato. On and river he must know something, but don't say nothing. He just keeps rolling along. On and river he must know something, but don't say nothing. He just keeps rolling along. On the river, he's getting older, but don't say nothing. He just keeps rolling along. Church, dirt, shirts. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Church, dirt, shirts. Church, dirt, shirts. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Church, dirt, shirts. Church. Dirt shirts. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Church, dirt shirts. Church, dirt shirts. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Church, dirt shirts. This little group scene done with the aid of the vocoder might be called a typical evening at home with the Jones family. First, we hear the voice of the stern father. Oh, uh, Mary. Mary, where are you? Oh, I'm over here, Daddy. What do I do now? I didn't say you've done anything, my child, but uh, I got a letter here from your teacher saying you haven't been such a good girl in school lately. What have you got to say to that? Oh, my teacher's screwy, Daddy. Never mind the flip talk, young lady. Grandfather, what do you think we should do about this? Well, son, I wouldn't be too harsh on the child. She's a good girl, you know. Mary, will you be a good girl if your old granddaddy asks you to be? Okay, Grandpappy, if you say so. And so the scene goes far, far into the night. <laughs> 